Okay, time for math, yay! Today we're gonna to talk about some back families for 13 and 14, and we're gonna do a quick review of expanded form. Are you guys ready? All right, so let's start with this back family. Five, eight, and 13. So what are the number sentences we would write for this back family? Let's start with our addition sentences. Now remember, with our addition sentences, our two numbers of least value are our add-ins, and the number with the greatest value becomes our sum, right? So we can start just the way it's written. Five plus eight equals 13, right? What will be the next addition sentence in our fact family? You guys are so smart. It's gonna be eight plus five equals 13. Very good. Now we need our subtraction sentences for this fact family. Remember with subtraction sentences, we start with the number of greatest value and then we subtract one of our other numbers, right? So we're gonna start with 13 minus five equals eight, right? 13, five and eight. Fact families always use the same numbers because they're part of the family. So what's our last number sentence for this fact family? I love it, you guys are awesome. So we would have 13 minus eight equals five. Very good. Okay, I know you guys got it right because you're super smart. Let's look at another fact family, okay? All right, so this time, let's look at the fact family seven, seven, and 14. I bet you guys figured out this is a doubles fact family, right? Very good, so we're only gonna write one addition sentence and one subtraction sentence because they would look the same. So let's start with our addition sentence. What is it? Seven plus seven equals 14. Very good. What does the subtraction sentence look like? Yes, 14 minus seven equals seven. All three numbers from our fact family are in our sentences. That's how we know they're part of a family. They stick together, right? Very good. Okay, you guys did a great job with that. Now, let's do a quick review of expanded form. All right, so let's start by looking at a two-digit number. How about 36? So how would we write 36 in expanded form? We start with the value of our tens place, right? So we have three tens, what is the value of three tens? 30, very good, so 36 equals 30. The value of our tens plus the value of our ones. So what's the value of our ones here? Six, exactly right. In expanded form, 36 equals 30 plus six. All right, now let's try a three digit number. You guys ready? All right, let's try. 116. So how are we gonna write that in expanded form? I know you guys are right. So the first thing, of course, we start with is the value of our hundreds place. So we have 100, so that is 100, right? 100 plus the value of our tens place. Here's our tens place. We have 110, so that is 10. Very good. Plus the value of our ones place. Here we have six ones, so the value of six ones is six. Exactly right, so the expanded form for 116 is 100 plus 10 plus six. I know you guys are gonna do a great job on today's work, and I'll see you tomorrow.